Hi guys. So um, we have this question here. Um, given an image represented by n by n matrix, where each pixel is four bytes, rotate the image by ninety degrees. So basically, this is how I see it as: I give you a matrix that is n by n, rotated by ninety degrees. So here's my here's the algorithm below that I I basically did down. Uh, just for this video. So here's an example of a n by n. This is a three by three matrix, right here. This this is a three by three matrix. So um, the solution to this problem is actually quite easy. Two things you have to do first to rotate any type of matrix, any n by n matrix, you have to first transpose the matrix, and then you reverse each row. That's how it works. So um, let me show you. A whole set. Let me see if I have something to show you guys. Um, rotate, rotate matrix. So here's a set of rules that I have for you. To rotate 90 degrees, you transpose, you reverse each row. To rotate negative 90, you reverse each row first, and then you transpose. To rotate 180, you rotate 90 twice. And to rotate negative 180, you rotate by negative 90 twice. So this is just the rules that I wrote up to rotate any type of... Uh, and by n matrix. All right, so to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to transpose the matrix. So I'm going to write a transpose function. So first, actually, let's define this matrix that we have here. Matrix. So I'm defining this is how you define a matrix: zero, one, three. That's row one. Next row is two negative 4, 9, and the final row is 5, 9, 2. So that's the matrix. So if, now I'm going to transpose this matrix. That's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to transpose it. Okay, so make it smaller a little bit. Actually, no, let me make it bigger so you can see. So I'm going to transpose the matrix. So to transpose this matrix, I need one information. I'm going to show you how to get this information first. So I need to know how many columns I have. Obviously, you can tell it's three. But it's what if the code doesn't know? How would you write a code such that it can find the number of columns the matrix come in? But let's assume we know it's three, obviously, for this example. But I'm going to show you a way using what I have here. Basically, to show you a way how to generate the number of columns within a given matrix without have actually brute forcing it. So my first example is I'm going to brute force it. So let me show you how, how to do that. So let's call this transpose. Takes a matrix. Just call it matrix. OK, so matrix doesn't really matter. All right, so I'm going to define I'm going to define the columns that I want. So how many columns are here? There are three, right? So I'm brute forcing it. One, column one, column two, column three. So now, again, this is not ideal. Here I'm defining all three columns. What about if there was four columns? If there was another one, you know, if, if I added an, another um, um, column to this by putting a number here and a number there, and a number there. I've created four columns. What I have to do is I have to add the column here. That's what I have to do. But that's not the case. So let's let's stick with three for now. All right, beautiful. So now I'm going to show you how to do a transpose of a matrix. So return. So we're going to say return um, call dot call dot um. Map. Let's see. I'm mapping that. So for each column, for each column, return the matrix, mapping the matrix. So for each row in the matrix, for each row, so let me just explain what's going on here. So here I'm mapping the matrix. I'm saying for each row. So it's so this iterator function, this is an iterator function right here. This is an iterator function. 
So this iterative function is going to take each row, row one, row two, and row three. It's going to take each row. So it's going to deal with each row for each column. So for the first, so for the first column right here, so it's going to take the, it's going to take the first row. What I want you to do with the first row is I want you to return the first value of it. That's what I'm doing. The first value of it. That's basically what I want you to do. I want you to return the first value. So of, of the first row, here is 0, 1, 3. Return the first number in it, which is 0. Then it's going to do it for the second one, 2, then 5. Then it's going to move on to the second one. For the uh, second one, so it's going to take, oh, this should be 0, 1. I'm sorry, 0. Because counting starts from 0. 0, 1, 2. Then it's going to do the second one, then the third one. That's how it works. So this is a transpose function. Now, how do we know this works? Let's try it out. We should correctly get this back if it's correctly transposed. We should get, this is a trans, transpose just means taking the rows and making it a columns, or taking the columns and making it into a row. So 0, 2, 5, over here, this column should be row. This column should be a row, and this column should be a row. So we should get this back right here. 0, 2, 5, 1, negative 4, 9, 3, 9, 2. So let's run this and let's try it out. So console.log transpose matrix. All right, let's let's run it. Uh, node test. Yay, it works. This is what we got. Uh, let me copy it out. So you can see what we got. This is what I got, by the way. That's what we got. As you can see, it works. 0, 2, 5, 0, 2, 5, 1, negative 4, 9, 3, 9, 2. Beautiful. So we have correctly transposed the matrix. Now, this works because I defined each column. Because I know I have three columns. What about if I don't know how many columns I have? Well, another way to do it is instead of using this brute force way that I did, why don't we use object, a, a way that's already defined by JavaScript for us, object.matrix. Beautiful. This does the same exact thing, I swear. The same exact thing I just showed you, that's what this does. That's all it does. And it should still work. Let's try it out. Works. Beautiful. Same thing. Same exact thing. All right. So we've done transpose. Now let's reverse this matrix. Let's reverse it. Okay, so the reverse function is pretty simple and straightforward. So const reverse, let's reverse matrix. Um, so matrix takes matrix and n because the function requires that. It says giving n by n matrix, so that's what we're giving. Okay, so reverse, let's create something to take the reverse matrix. Let's call it mate. That's where we're gonna put all our reverse matrix in. And then let's create the let's generate the transposed value. You know, before we even do that, let's make sure this works. So we're gonna do a for loop. Let i equal zero. I is less than n. I plus plus. And then I'm gonna say matrix of i equals so again, I'm taking each row and I'm reversing using a JavaScript defined method called reverse. That's all I'm doing. And I'm going to return. I'm going to return the matrix. All right. So if this works, so I'm going to try it on on this matrix right here first. What I should get back is three one zero nine negative four two and two nine five. So this should be reversed. This should be reversed. And then this should be reversed. So let's do it. Reverse matrix. Let's and it's three. Okay. Beautiful. Let's copy it to show you guys. See the result. Three one zero is reversed. Nine negative four two and five nine two. All right, it's reversed. Now let's use it to get the transpose. So inside here we're gonna call the transpose function. Let's define that. This is not 
this is not a const, this is a let because I'm changing it inside the function. Const, um, okay, so this is, let's call this transpose matrix because we want to get the transpose matrix. <coughs> and we're going to get the matrix. This is, that's it. And then inside of matrix here, we're using the transpose matrix. And that's it, we are done. So if it correctly works, we should get this 520, 9, negative 4, 1, and 293. That's what we should get if it correctly works. Beautiful. This is beautiful. It works. So this is what we got. 520, 9, negative 4, 1, and 293. So we have correctly rotated a matrix by 90 degrees by first transposing it and then reversing it row. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this video.